Each of us has our own genetic code and a genetic map of the human race, yet we share a portion of the code with other species, some 30,000 genes, and we ask ourselves the question, are we in a relation with whom, the mouse or the worm? We are purely human beings. Anytime we have in our genome portion of genes that we share with all living beings because we are made and created from the earth and water. We share a surprising number of genes with all the species, although these genes do not all have the same letters in the same order. This is what makes us the complex being able to speak, to learn, to think, to analyze the falsehood of the truth, and we renouncing no logical theories, the resemblance to certain beings living on the genetical level proves that Darwin's theory is to be excluded from our minds and to see more clearly the evolution. This reminder can be used for genetic explanation in order to better understand the genetic characters and their transmission and especially the malformation which are the start of research and make a connection between man and other creatures and to move hypotheses deducted by research in the sense since there are several similarities with several species with any evolution of this creature on the cerebral and morphological level. And that man is the result of himself genetically, genetically, and that theories leave doors open for research, the sequence of the genes are typical of each existence creature, the mouse cannot come appears in the time and the bees will never become a worm or a man. We understand that each creature has its own genetic map and to procreate one needs to be from the same genetic map and the opposite sex in order to arrive at descent. In this sense, we agree and we can now progress in our research in the logical, scientific and especially genetic from work. We are thus returning to the four forms of existence of the man and we try to explain this phenomenon, this phenomena genetically. Okay. The first form and the first man, Adam alayhi salam, our grandfather, is a man, it has the karyotype XY. The second form and the first woman, Hawa, Ev alayhi salam, whose karyotype is XX. The third form, Maisa alayhi salam, Jesus, the man of birth, has the character XY normally. The fourth form, we, a woman or man, respectively XX and XY, we have just understood the different karyotype of the four forms of man existence on earth. In order to arrive at a logical result and accurate, we will schematize certain formula to better understand our objective. I need your attention to the fact that certain formula which tortured my mind, which I would like to share with you, dear listener, to find a common logical answer, because this phenomena interests us. Since is it about us, about our life, our past, and our family history. Beside us, this existence of the four forms of the human being, you will discover the divine power of our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same being is born in four forms and this will allow us to clarify and erase certain ideologies created by men for interests and conservative power without any logic. You understand that nothing is done random and that God is the creator of the universe and every living being. Allahu Akbar. 
The perfect religion is that which has a direct relation with science. For that, my work obliges me to live through the religious book and to see the coming together of the existence of the four forms of human leaves and to carry out an analysis and to compare and to identify the religion which touches the subject by the way of the logic and scientific. Therefore, I draw your attention in order to carry out your own analysis and to see the right of the false and to see which religion touches the scientific reality our genetic map gives us the possibility to make brain reflections and understand that these reflections is a well-being for us because we are all from the same family.